Hello, this is Tola from Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can undo and redo scenes in Blender effectively in terms of processes or procedures that you've done and you want to undo it because you made a mistake or redo it. Uh, usually in uh, Blender, even on any computer software, it's always Control Z to go backwards, Control Alt Z to redo it. Uh, but there's a better way to do it in Blender. Now in Blender, uh, if you want to increase your undo steps, this is what people usually do. Go to Edit and Preferences. And here you go to Systems, and then you increase your undo steps. It's basically 32 by default, but you can make it more to you. But pressing Control Z constantly is kind of something else to deal with, and then Control Alt Z is the same thing. So a better way to do this is go to Edit and go to Preferences, and go to Key Map. From Key Map, uh, click on screen and then screen global and scroll down click on add new and here you'll see that it's brought up a new uh, area where we can input some code or some keyboard shortcuts actually so let's uh, toggle down click on the arrow uh, left click there let's press Z and then we're going to add some keys we can press to complete the command that we want blender to do so press control and alt and then from there we want to rename it uh, so click in this field here left click type in ed dot undo underscore history Make sure I spell that right okay then press enter and you'll see that it brought up a whole new set of keyboard shortcuts for us to use for the one we just made and in Blender 2.8 and above it auto saves by default and 2.8 or 2.79 and below you'd have to save click on save to save the uh, keyboard shortcut in Blender so let's minimize that and I'll show you how this works now we have our cube here and let's say we want to duplicate it shift D left click let's go to 1 5 so you can see it from the front view and let's click on our move gizmo. Let's drag this out. Let's do that again. Let's press 5 again so we can get a better view. And 1. And we're going to press shift again, duplicate that, and drag it over. Scroll down our mouse wheel, look around. And then let's say we want to scale this up, make this bigger. This is just an example, a simple example of a scene. If you have a more complex scene where you have different uh, elements in it, you're doing different functions, this also does still help. Let's, let's click on that and let's rotate this. It's just a simple example. Let's say, oh, you, you think to yourself, oh man, I, I didn't want to scale this up, I didn't want to rotate this, didn't want to duplicate it. And if it's when you've done several steps, you don't want to go through the whole Control Z deal again. Just press Control Alt Z and this menu pops up, which is the undo history. And let's go back to the original. Let's say, well, I didn't want to really go back to the original, so Control Alt Z again. I just wanted to go back to where I duplicated it the first time. Click on that. Oh well, it's not moving. Control Alt Z again. Move. And they say, well, I just wanted to go back to where I had it before, where it had one scaled up and one rotated. Control Alt Z again. And then there you go. So this is a very, very helpful uh, keyboard shortcut that you can create in Blender that helps you with your undo and redo steps very very easily very very quickly with the pop-up menu and that's today's blender quick tip so this is an easy way you can do use to maneuver in blender to do redo and undo effectively and quickly in blender and once again i thank you guys who for watching thank you guys who have subscribed and those who will subscribe in the future really appreciate it and i will see you guys on the next one all right adios